Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel for the newcomers, my name is Didi. Yes, filming inside today again because outside it's really freezing. I will show you the windows, even my windows are frozen in the apartment guys, wearing even inside a Bitcoin hoodie and this Bitcoin hoodie you can buy of course on the BitcoinFamily.com, Bitcoin the original. Guys, in today's video, talking about four amazing Bitcoin charts, a trading tip, a travel tip, some live advice, of course the news, because there is huge news about Bitcoin, and of course answering the questions of one of the followers and giving you one of my coins that I've been holding already since 2014 and telling you why you should buy a little bit of those as well. Now, let's quickly jump into the charts first to show you exactly what is happening to Bitcoin today. of course it's volatility that is because there is a lot of resistance around that 72k level uh, when we break that it's not if but when we break that we will take it up to the next level guys uh, around uh, here this uh, resistance 73 and then 77k is still my target for this breakout because that's also the length of the inverse head and shoulder pattern that we saw so it should be a breakout somewhere to that level guys Beautiful short-term target. We first need to break, of course, um, that level of resistance over there. We can see the volume, but if we zoom in a lot, let's see like this, we can maybe even analyze the volume a little bit better. Then you will see that we are creating a lot of volume around this area. And that is very positive because that, the moment we break that, we come out, we have this area again as support. So it's very amazing to see that we are building this structure now on 70K. Maybe 70K will become the support level for the second part of that bull market that we are all waiting for. If we zoom out a little bit to the monthly chart, we can see that we are, of course, are above that all-time high. Look, that all-time high was over there, reached at that moment 69,130. We are at the moment at 70,200, so we are moving above that all-time high. Now, if you look on the monthly perspective, it wouldn't be strange if in the monthly chart we would go up, come down and retest it, and then move again further. So that's all possible, guys. So we can see this bullishness all the way up to 80k, and maybe come back to, down to test 70k uh, with a wick or whatever, a body of a next month, and then go up again. So that's always possible, of course, um, in the monthly chart as well, but mostly the monthly slowly goes up and continues in the massive bull market. Now, if we look at the total market cap, also very important because the total market cap didn't reach an all-time high yet. Total market cap is the market cap of all cryptos together. Because all cryptos together, if you look over here, this was the all-time high. The all-time high was 3 trillion US dollar, 3.009 trillion US dollar. The whole moment, the highest that we reached was um, 2.721 trillion US dollar. So we need to go up tremendously to create an all-time high with a total market cap, which means not only the Bitcoin price should be going up, but also all the altcoin prices should be going up to be able to reach that all-time high of the total market cap. And if we reach that all-time high of the total market cap, of course we will break it. And when we break it, we will take it up to new all-time highs. Just like you see over here in the past, let's see over here, the total market cap in 2014 was 8.6 billion. When we broke that total market cap here in 2016, you can see we broke it and we came back and retested it. Just to draw you how important these lines are, then you can see here, we broke that total market cap, we came back and retested it, and then we went to massively up. And then again, of course, we can see the same over here. Broke that total market cap of 2017, the total market cap was the highest point in total was uh, 760 billion, amazing. Here again, you can see the moment we broke that market cap, every time we do the same, we break that market cap, we come back and retest it, and then we take it higher. So that is very important for me to understand because we still need to break it, we will retest it, and then we will take it even higher. So it's still gonna be a volatile period ahead but at least it's going to be a bullish volatile period, which means you will continue to stay bullish all the way up to the new all-time high of this total market cap. And yes, in my honest opinion, it could be somewhere between 5 and 6 trillion, even 10 trillion if the spot ETFs keep accumulating like they are accumulating. This chart shows you again that there is a lot of short-term 
um, liquidations happening when we visit 72k so be prepared we are going to visit 72k very soon maybe even today or tomorrow 72k will be broken because a lot of bears will be liquidated at that level a very important thing to see on the charts at the moment is that the wills are accumulating here this red line is the addresses that hold between 1000 and 10,000 bitcoins and the yellow line between 10,000 and 100,000 coins. The yellow line is decreasing, the red line is increasing. So it could also mean that the yellow line that they are diversifying their 10,000s into smaller wallet sizes or, or the, they are really selling them to the smaller wills. So the wills are still accumulating. They went up from here 23 to 25 percent very interesting also is see the exchange balance on coinbase coinbase balance after 2017 went up all the way till 2020 from that moment we have seen the balance on coinbase the bitcoin balance disappearing we are an all-time low we haven't been this low since over here 2015 that's a very long time ago so this level shows us that the market is drying up less and less bitcoins available on the exchanges and why because the spot etfs are buying a shitload of bitcoins again 418 million dollar worth of bitcoin was accumulated on the 26th of march 15 million on the 25th of march we had a few negative days that was because grayscale was dumping hard we can see that here the red column 600 400 300 but Grayscale is almost done dumping. And even with their dumping of 200 million worth of Bitcoins, we are still in the positive with 418 million worth of Bitcoins. So this buying pressure of the spot ETFs is of course leading to an increase of the price. And why are they all buying Bitcoin now? Because they start to understand that Bitcoin has no founder. Bitcoin has no ruling foundation. Bitcoin has no pre-mine like Ethereum or any other coin. Bitcoin has no insiders. Bitcoin has no initial investors. Bitcoin has no office. Bitcoin has no website. Bitcoin has no paid executive team. Bitcoin has no marketing team. Bitcoin has no paid dev team. Bitcoin has no starting price. Bitcoin has no human controlling it. And Bitcoin is just the fairest money on earth. And that is what these companies now start to understand and why people are storing their capital in Bitcoin because it's the safest play, the safest store of value the safest digital gold of the 21st century that they can buy that is why bitcoin is being bought hope you really enjoyed those charts yes i shown you now exactly where the short-term target is we are gonna break the 72k level guys there's a lot of liquidations we will visit the level we also will probably try to break that 73k level and if we break that then we will see a new autumn high somewhere soon around 77k guys long term always the same play zooming out we can see a lot of bitcoins disappearing from all the exchanges the market is drying up the demand is tremendously growing we can see the spot etfs accumulating we can see retail accumulating we can see governments accumulating we can see institutional investors accumulating we can see even banks accumulating so the demand is growing tremendously but the supply is becoming scarcer and scarcer from the 20th of april that's in 23 days the halving will happen and from the halving only 450 new bitcoins will be mined every day this will lead into a supply shock we have never seen before and a supply shock will lead to an increase of the price not a decrease don't believe all those people that tell you oh it's a sell the news event bitcoin will drop it won't drop it will go higher and higher and higher now, let's jump into the trading tip. Before I jump into the trading tip, I'm going to show you my view now because my view is gone. The whole windows are frozen. That's the amount of snow that fell this night. You can see everywhere the windows are kind of frozen. Check over here, guys. Even the small windows. It snowed so hard that everything flew this is the only window that is like still free to look outside it's foggy but there is a lot of snow amazing winterland the trading tip for today guys is about dogecoin yes the beloved dogecoin i know a lot of you think dogecoin is a shit coin but dogecoin has always been inside my heart already since 2014 as you know i started mining bitcoin in 2013 when we had a huge crash from 
$1,200 to $200 in 2014, we were searching for new opportunities to mine. And that is when I started mining Dogecoins. We mined millions of Dogecoins and we believed that Dogecoin would once reach one US dollar. So the last couple of million Dogecoins I sold in the last bull market around 55, 56 cents because it was too much profit. But I'm still holding Dogecoin. I even bought back Dogecoin. I even have a trade open in Dogecoin, as you can see over here. Why? Because Dogecoin was the first meme coin out there. It doesn't have any use case aside of very cheap transactions, but the community just loved Dogecoin. It has a huge market cap, a lot of community members still love it and support it, and a lot of people still use it for cheap transactions all over the world. Even Elon Musk still tweeting about it. So if you ask me, Dogecoin should always be part of your portfolio, even if it's just $1,000 worth of Dogecoin. You see how much profit the traders are already making, and you can guess probably how much all the millions of Dogecoin that I own are making in profit already since I bought them back at the bear market bottom. So for me, the trading tip for today, Dogecoin should always be part of your crypto portfolio. Yes, it was part of my crypto portfolio already since 2014. I just love that meme coin and I love what it did for the crypto community because it gave access to all those people that didn't believe in Bitcoin to a coin that they could believe in and form a community around it. Dogecoin. That's why our dog even looks like a Dogecoin. Now, that was the training tip for today. And talking about Dogecoin brings me also to the travel tip, guys. The travel tip for today is if you travel with a dog, I know how difficult it is to get your dog into a hotel or apartment or a house that you rent. Because if you look on all those websites like Booking.com or, uh, or Airbnb or Travala, where you can book directly with Bitcoin, all these websites, they will state in the description, dogs are not allowed, pets are not allowed. What I always do, I always double check. I always text the hotel or the apartment or the villa owner. I always text them, hey, we have a very cute little gay dog of three kilos. Uh, very well trained, it doesn't shit and piss inside, can we take this dog to your place? And 90% of the time, people will send me back, hey, yes, of course it's possible to take a two kilogram cute dog that doesn't piss inside to the apartment or to the house. Even the description of this apartment that we rented now was saying no dogs or pets allowed. Now, of course, again, typing them, messaging them, and they were like, yeah, if you rent this for three weeks, your dog is allowed. Of course your dog is allowed. So whenever you see no pets allowed, always double check. So that's a travel tip for the day. If you own a dog, always double check if you're allowed to take the dog with you. The news for the day, guys, is that the whales are accumulating Bitcoin. I read an article that stated and analyzed all the numbers and it's saying since January 1st till the 26th of March, the wallet addresses holding 1,000 to 10,000 Bitcoins has grown from 23% to 25.17%. So that's a huge increase of wallets holding between 1,000 and 10,000 Bitcoins. So the whales are accumulating, which is telling me that that increase of the Bitcoin price pre-halving is not over yet. When the whales accumulate, we are still full in the bull market. The moment you see the whales, the addresses between 1,000 and 10,000, selling their Bitcoins and the retail investors buying more and more and more, so all the fishes and the guppies that own less than 10 or 1 Bitcoin, when you see those accumulating tremendously and those whales selling, that is the moment when mostly the bull market is over. But at the moment, these whales are still accumulating and they are accumulating a shitload of Bitcoin. So please understand the four-year halving and all this data around that four-year halving. As long as these whales are accumulating, we will go up pre-halving. So that is the news for today. All the data is showing us that the whales between 1,000 and 10,000 Bitcoins are still accumulating Bitcoins. That is very bullish, not bearish at all. The moment it will become bearish is when they will start to sell. And I will, of course, tell you that as well. That is why you should subscribe to this channel and tell all your friends and family as well to subscribe to the channel. So please tell one of your family or friends or colleagues today to subscribe because we want to reach 75K and even 100K subscribers this year before Bitcoin reaches 100K. That's the game. 
we are on. We are a little bit above Bitcoin. We are 70,300. Bitcoin also around that 70,300 level. So it's a competition. Make us win this competition. When we go to 100K, Bitcoin will follow. Yes, that's how it always works. When the Bitcoin family grows, Bitcoin grows. Yes, that's just normal. Just start to subscribe and share this channel with everyone you know there. Now, that was the news for the day. Whales are accumulating. You should be accumulating. Let's jump into the last part of the video. Before I jump into the inspirational part, yes, I know a lot of you are commenting now and then, Didi, we loved it when the videos were online early in the morning because then we can wake up and watch the video in Europe. I'm doing my ultimate best to get my rhythm in order to, to upload those videos again in the morning very early. But the thing that I need to do is I need to record these videos then during the day and then upload them very early in the morning so they will be live at 7.30. At the moment, it's just impossible for me because we are like having a small holiday as well. We are skiing every day, so I'm spending a lot of time outside with the family. So that means I don't have the time to record these videos in the afternoon. Or I'm too tired, or we're going for dinner, or we're meeting friends. So it's difficult to do it here in these three weeks here in Navarra. The good news is in less than 10 days, we will be in the next place beautifully. And there I can again get that new rhythm and make these videos in the late afternoon during the sunset and set them online very early in the morning, of course, with fresh data about the price. I think the TA I will do early in the morning as I have then the most recent price information, combine that and upload it early in the morning so you can again enjoy these videos with a cup of coffee early in the morning. Now, let's jump now into the last part of the video, the inspirational quote. The inspirational quote for today is, if you see someone without a smile, Give him your smile. Just start smiling. You know, sometimes you run into these people working in a store or in a restaurant and they are very stressed and they're very like, and they are grumpy and they don't even smile. Give him your smile. Don't become grumpy as well. Don't offend them. Don't tell them, hey, why are you, have you a bad day? What is happening? Just smile to them. Give them your smile. Keep smiling. That will be affectious and it will make them smile as well because they will be like, that's a friendly guy. Just make a funny joke. Just make the sun shine for that people that is now in those clouds. Because these people are just running at hamster wheel and they are just too busy at that moment to realize they are not smiling anymore about life. They are not smiling towards life. They are just running, running, running. And they feel stressed and they feel like locked in this situation where they are. And for the only way for them to see a little bit positivity is when you walk in and you are, hey, good morning, buenos dias, how are you doing? <laughs> You're smiling. And they will start to smile as well because they see you smile. And that moment that they start to smile, those 10 seconds, those 5 seconds, that is when they realize, oh, what am I doing? Why am I so stressed? Why am I doing all that stuff? Why am I not like smiling? Chill down, become relaxed and smile to your customers. That's what they will realize in the split five seconds, the moment you walk in and give them your smile. So always give people that look grumpy your smile. Make it your passion to make them laugh. If you will be able to make a grumpy person laugh, you're conquering the world, guys, because that's very important. Because there is a shitload of well, grumpy people in this world. Well, I don't like the weather. I don't like this. I don't like skiing. I don't like the beach. I don't like traveling. There's a lot of these people you will meet. Just keep smiling. I think our smile can be the secret weapon to even brighten the day of those grumpy people out there. So that's the inspirational quote for today. If you see a person without a smile, Give him your smile. Make him happy. Happy, happy, long time. I would say in Thailand. But here, happy, happy, long time in Spain is difficult because, yes, it's freezing. So the happy, 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 long time is a very short time over here when you walk outside, guys. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy the video, then please give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell and leave a comment. What do you think about the charts? What do you think about all the tips and price info? And, of course, also about the live code. Let me know down below. And please help me push this channel up to 75k subscribers as soon as possible maybe bitcoin will follow us as well bam